Hello friends, in this video tutorial we discuss about the menu programs using the do while loop. Let's see with practical. Here I am using the code blocks as a IDE. First I click on the file and then new and then click on the project and select the console application from the template and click on the go. And from here I select the C language and then click on the next. Here I need to provide the my project title and uh, simply I write here my project title as a uh, menu demo and then click on the next and then finish. This is my project displayed under the workspace and uh, explore the sources and then click on the main.c. This code is automatically generated by the code block and uh, simply I delete the information and uh, I write here this program this program demonstrate the demonstrate the menu using do while loop ok and uh, here I write declaring variables x, y and uh, twice and uh, i variable and uh, simply I write here the do and uh, while means I am using here the do while loop and uh, giving here the condition i equals to 1 means this this loop is continue until the value of i is equals to 1 Simply I write here the printf and then slash n and I write here 1 as a addition and then terminate it with semicolon and again using the printf function and uh, then slash n and I am giving the second option for the subtraction then terminate it with semicolon and then printf and then slash n third option for multiplication and then terminate it with semicolon and then printf and uh, then the fourth option as a division and then terminate it with semicolon and then Again using the printf and then slash n and I simply write here the enter your choice enter your choice and then terminate it with semicolon and then scan of and then percentage d comma ampersand choice and then terminate it with semicolon here I am using the switch statement because we have the multiple choice so I simply using here the switch and then giving the case 1 and uh, simply I write here the printf slash n enter the value for x and y and then turn it with semicolon and then scan of and uh, simply I write here percentage d and then percentage d comma ampersand x comma ampersand y and then terminate it with semicolon and then printf and uh, simply I write here slash n sum equal percentage d comma x plus y and then terminate it with semicolon and then break statement and uh, simply I am using the case 2 here I am using the case 2 here and I have to copy this statement and uh, paste here and uh, simply I write here the sub and uh, change the operator as a subtract and I am again using the third keys and then paste and uh, 
simply I write here the multiplication multiplication and uh, simply I change my operator as a star and uh, using the case 4 and simply I again paste and uh, I giving here the meaning as a division and then x divided by y okay and then default statement if no any case match then the default statement will be execute and uh, simply I write here the slash printf slash n invalid choice and then semicolon and then break after closing switch I again using the printer function and write here do you want to continue do you want to continue press 1 and uh, turn it to semicolon and then I am using here the scan of and then percentage D comma ampersand i and turn it with semicolon and then I save it okay we will discuss from starting look here this is the printer function and uh, simply print the message this program demonstrate the menu using two while loop onto the screen and uh, in the next line I am declaring four variable x y choice and i variable and uh, in the next line I am using the do while loop and simply I write here the do and uh, do start from here and uh, end here and simply I write here the while and giving here the condition i equals to 1 means this loop continue until the value of i is 1 and uh, within the body of do while loop I am simply giving here the four options 1 for addition, 2 for subtraction 3 for multiplication, 4 for division. And with the help of this printer function, simply print the message enter your choice onto the screen. When the user enter their choice, if the user enter the value as a 1, 2, 3 or any numbers, this value is stored into the choice variable and uh, we have the multiple choice. So I am using here the switch case and passing choice as an expression and uh, this the value of choice is compared with the each case and uh, if the user enter the value as a 1 on that case the case 1 is true first evaluate and uh, case 1 is true and uh, this print the body of the case 1 is executed and the, this printer function simply print the message enter the value for x and y onto the screen and when the user enter the value two numbers this value store into the x y variable and with the help of a scanner function and with the help of this printer function uh, the addition of value of x plus y print onto the screen and if the user suppose that enter the second number on that case the choice evaluated with the case 1 the condition is false and then control come here and evaluate the case 2 case 2 is true on that case again the body of the case 2 is executed here and uh, with the help of this printer function simply print the message enter the value for x and y onto the screen and when the user enter the two numbers this value store into the xy variable with the help of a scanner function and uh, with the help of this printer function simply print the subtraction of these two numbers x and y and this is the case 3 and uh, every case is checked by or compare with this choice and 
if the comparison is true with any case then the statement of that case block is executed if the user not enter the value from 1 to 4 on that case the default statement will be executed and uh, simply print the invalid twice and then break okay and uh, here the switch is closed and in the next line uh, using the printer function and with the help of this printer function I simply print the message do you want to continue press 1 means if you want to continue to the loop then you will press the 1 when the user enter the 1 this value is stored into the i variable with the help of a scanner function control come here and check the condition Con if the condition is true on that case the control come here and again print this information user enter any number then come into the switch and uh, twice as expression and again evaluate the every cases if the case is true this the uh, simply the set of instruction of that uh, case is execute if the case is not match means the choice is not match with any case or evaluation of the choice with the cases are not true on that case the default will be execute control again come here and uh, again ask do you want to continue press 1 and user enter the any numbers except 1 the loop will be terminated thank you friends and uh, first i need to save it and uh, run it okay you look here you have four options addition subtraction multiplication and division I simply choose the option first after that the case 1 is evaluated and case 1 is true on that case the printer function enter the value for x and y will be execute and simply I passing the 20 and uh, 10 the 20 and 10 value simply add and the result is 30 the this message do you want to continue press 1 and uh, simply I again press 1 again this menu is displayed onto the screen and uh, it asks enter your choice I simply entered my choice as a 2 again ask enter the value for x and y and I simply pass the 30 and uh, 10 after subtract it will print the message onto the screen again ask the question do you want to continue press 1 and uh, simply I press 2 and loop is terminated thank you friends please subscribe my channel and uh, like my video thanks for watching my video thanks a lot